is Vlogmas Day 1. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> Last year, I don't think I was this excited about Vlogmas, but this year I am so excited about Vlogmas. I think the reason I am most excited is because I started the advent of kindness. Hold on, let's check it out. It's on my, mine's on my fridge. And I went to bed and woke up this morning with so many of you sharing that you are seeing this on Facebook and on Tumblr. If you see it, make sure you tag me or the channel in some way, because remember, as you work through this, I want you tagging me in Instagram stories and sending me DMs about how this is shifting your perspective or experiences with the act of kindness for the day. And today, we have to give someone a compliment and a hug. That will be easy. The other reason I'm really excited about Vlogmas is because I wanted to really think about the content I'm producing during Vlogmas and make sure that it is super beneficial, enriching, um, informative in some way. So due to that, I am theming each week of Vlogmas, but I'm not doing it like in a normal week. So it's gonna go from Saturday since we started today to Friday, and then a new theme will be unveiled the next Saturday to Friday. Uh, this week's theme is plan. We're gonna talk about plan decor, planners, all sorts of things. Every day this week, I'm going to show you a new planner that has launched for 2019. And then by the end on Friday, you have seen multiple planners in depth and you can help determine which planners you want for 2019. We're also going to talk about how you plan intentions for 2019 and something I'm trying new this year. Um, there's going to be all sorts of things around planning. A big decor project this week um, that I've been planning for quite some time. And with planning comes some new things in life as well. So. I have decided to go to a Bikram yoga class today and I planned it through a really, really cool app and you have them for your local area. You're all probably really aware, but it's called the Mind Body app. And what you can basically do is schedule, pay for your classes for gyms or certain things you wanna try. They also have like beauty and spa treatments. Uh, right on the app and then show up to the appointment. So it allows you to like just experience new places, not having to navigate websites. It's really, really cool and made it really, really easy. So I have planned to try something new. You guys know I always go to Orange Theory, but I thought, why not experience something new this Vlogmas with you and share my thoughts on it? So we are going to Bikram Yoga at nine o'clock, which for those who don't know, I think it's 105 degrees in the room and it's an hour and a half long, and we'll see. I'm not a flexible person. That's one of the main reasons I'm thinking of starting this is because I wanna become more flexible because I know that it'll help me um, in my other workouts and just my health in general. So that is what is going on, my friends. So this week is plan week, and we're gonna talk about planning a lot, but not just planners, planning in all aspects of our life and being thoughtful and intentional in the things that we do. All right, my friends, going to drink some coffee and then get ready for yoga, and we're gonna have a great day of Vlogmas, and I'm gonna be looking for people to hug and compliment all day long. People I'll probably get arrested by the end of the day. We are on our way to yoga. It starts at nine and it is about 8.20. I am super excited. Um, we should all plan to do new things and try new things and experience new things because you just don't know what might click and you might really like it. And I'm really excited to try just something a little bit new. You all know I have enough water bottle, but I was in the middle of drinking this glass of water, so I just brought the glass with me. Also, you can see I really sliced up the tip of my finger. I was wiping off a wine glass, and for those who have seen them, I have the, I think they're the Camille wine glasses from Crate and Barrel, the same ones that Olivia Pope used on uh, Scandal. Anyway, they're very, very thin stemmed and I must have just put too much pressure as I was wiping and like the wine glass part 
broke off and the stem then like stabbed into the tip of my finger. It hurts so bad, but I'm determined to not let it slow me down. Um, so this yoga might be really challenging um, with this situation on my finger, but we shall see what happens. I am going to go ahead and turn on my Spotify playlist. If you are not following me on Spotify, you should because the playlist is really, really good. So go ahead, check it out. It is linked down below. It is a collection of great, great holiday music. All right, my friends, the next time I see you, I will probably be a dripping, sweating, disgusting mess. But hopefully, I will have experienced something new that I enjoyed, or at least know that I don't want to go back. So see you when yoga is over. As you can see from my uh, very red and flushed face, I just finished the yoga class and it was 90 minutes. I will say the last half hour really, really tested me. I like started to get really distracted and then I became really, really cognizant that it was 105 degrees. I feel really calm. I feel really connected. I don't know, I just feel really different. I'm really thinking the juxtaposition of like an Orange Theory workout with this throughout the week could be really, really good for me. I am literally soaked completely. So right now I have to get gas because I only have 20 more miles to go. And then I need to get home and get showered. And then we will continue with Vlogmas day one. I am all cleaned up now and freshly shaved so I no longer look like a wildebeest. And I'm just going to make some eggs and some toast because I didn't eat before I went and now I'm starving. I am using the Chrissy Teigen pan. You guys want me to tell you what I think about these pans? They are amazing. Nothing, nothing sticks to this pan. I absolutely love it. Daisy. For breakfast, I have two eggs and a clementine and two pieces of toast that I just halved and some polar seltzer water. This is the vanilla zen. It's so, so good. I'm going to eat breakfast and then I have stuff planned for us to do. So let me get this taken care of. As you all know, I ended up changing up my Christmas decor. We are going to do a final walkthrough of the house and talk through everything a couple days in Vlogmas, but I added this red ribbon and then I was just like, oh, I want more pops of red. So then you know that on this kitchen tree, I did like this teal, red, and white, and I absolutely loved how this turned out. And then I was like, well, I need red in more places because I also have the red in some of the bottle brush trees in there. So I ended up adding red ornaments to this garland. And then I went ahead, oh look, our in-laws dog Casey is here. My in-laws are in Australia currently. So we are keeping care of their dog Casey. And then I ended up adding red to this as well. I just tuck those ornaments in. There's nothing fancy. Some of them are with, some of them are tucked in with florist wire. Some are just sitting there but I think it looks so good. And I had these old red pillows that I pulled in. So I'm really, really, really loving the pops of red. And I was thinking I need to incorporate it in other places. So it feels a little bit more cohesive. So I've already gone ahead. This wreath is so gorgeous now. And originally it was just a flocked wreath. That's it. It was just a solid pine flocked wreath. I went to Michael's and I w grabbed these pine cones and just florist wired them in. I brushed them with Mod Podge and sprinkled silver glitter on them. That's it, wired them in. I have had these ornaments, these polar bears and penguins from Target for at least four years. Wired those in because I thought they'd look cool. And then I just took these silver and red ornaments, but just look at that wreath. We got our front gate garland up, but there's no red in it. So we need to get that all jazzed up. 
Also, I have this wreath. I want to add some red to it. And then this tree, last year I did mixed metal, so there's copper, silver, and gold. I want to tear all those off and replace them with red ones. But I really want to get the red ribbon up first. I've already bought supplies that I need. Um, so they were delivered on Amazon the other day. So I got, I think, 10, 20 yards of red ribbon. And then this is all for another project coming up that's going on the banisters, which I'm so excited. But I really do think the red is making such a festive difference. So I'm gonna get this ribbon unwrapped and cut into about three or four feet chunks, and then we're gonna get it up on that garland. I am out here ready to add the ribbon, so this is what it currently looks like. Got my ladder, let's go ahead and attack this. I'm not going to videotape how to use this mesh ribbon. I already have done a video on this, so I'm gonna leave that link down below. If you wanna know how to work with mesh ribbon in a garland, check out that video, it's super, super helpful. I just finished the garland. Oh, it looks beautiful. Now to just get some red on these trees, on this wreath, maybe somehow incorporate it into the doormat, get my lanterns out, it's going to be beautiful. I just got ready to head to Target because I need to pick up a couple things for outside before I can show you the finished product. I'm just wearing this oversized red sweater. I love, like, the bigger the sweater, the better. Some cuff jeans and then my camel coat. And then I got this new Frida pin, which I'm kind of obsessed with. All right, let's go ahead and head to Target and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, I mean, blessings upon blessings today. When you start your car and what a girl wants, old school Christina Aguilera is playing, blessings upon blessings, I mean, my spirit is lifted. My spirit is lifted. I'm clearly going to Target with like an objective and clearly know what I need to buy. But something happens when I enter those red doors and I black out until I get home. And before you know it, I have bought a bedspread, a garbage can, a, a travel mug, a coat, and 700 other items I didn't know I needed until Target told me I needed them. If that happens to you, let me know. I just feel like something takes over you at Target. I am so excited right now. I don't think you can see it behind me, but there is a wreath that I saw on one of my favorite designers' Instagrams, um, Emily Henderson. She works with Target a lot, but she showed this enormous, gold framed wreath where like the garland of the wreath is only on the bottom and I have been obsessed with it but I've never seen it at any of my targets and I rounded a corner and it was there and I was like I bet you it's astronomically expensive if it is under $50 I will get it it was $49.99 um, when you see the size of this wreath um, $50 for a wreath might sound like a lot of money, but when you see the size and statement of this wreath, it's very much worth it. Um, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Then I got the flameless candles I need to restock my lanterns for the front. I got a new doormat. I'm going to show you a little tip and trick around doormats, and then we're going to get the front completely set up. You are not going to believe it. Target had the Emily Henderson wreath. Oh, this is Steven in his wild habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Henderson from HGTV Design Star, who I love. I follow her on Instagram. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This wreath that she created for Target is sold out everywhere, and I bought it. Oh. But it's enormous, and I don't know where we put it. Where's the wreath? It's in my car. It is, like, bigger than our table, maybe. How much was it? That's the thing. I was like, if it's less than $50, I'll buy it. It was $49.99. Still $50. Without tax, over tax. With no, tax. actually it was forty nine nineteen because I got 5% off with my red card debit card. So that would still be over 50 with tax. Yes. No. Yes. No, yes. I don't think so. Eight times 49 is more than a dollar. Bubby, tell him not to argue. 
here is my finished front door. I will leave the garland that I buy from Front Gate linked if I can. This is four nine foot pieces, has cypress and pine cones and berries in it. It's pre-lit, it's beautiful. And then what I ended up doing was just adding the mesh ribbon. Like I said, I have a garland tutorial video that I'll leave linked down below. Added some to the wreath as well. Already had these lanterns. Switched out the ornaments with some red ones. Have that little reindeer. Put this up here on this stool. And then one of my favorite tips is layering your mats. So when you layer it, it gives it such a bigger impact and I just really, really love the look. I have total hat hair, um, but I hope you like what I did to the front. I told you that I picked up that Emily Henderson wreath um, from Target. We ended up putting it over the fireplace. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I think it's stunning. Oh. So happy. I also picked up this amazing fleece at Target. It's so comfy and it covers up my hat head right now. Um, we are going to go open some advent calendars and most of them are in my office. So let's go. Oh, I love this office. Let's start with Diptyque just because it's here. So let's go ahead this bad boy up oh look how beautiful that is all right number one it's a fragrance I'm so using this for something when I'm done and it is the fragrance do sun or do sun I'm gonna say all of these wrong because I don't speak French. This advent calendar I'm so excited about. It's super cute. It's going to make like a little woodland scene. Each one comes in like a little pocket. So you just pull them out as you go. So this is number one. And it's the tree. There we go tree is made where should we put this little guy so as we add to our winter scene this, it will grow the next one is from sugarfina but this was gifted to me from the amazing jen ross so this is an advent calendar from a friend all right oh these are in order so you don't have to hunt these are fuji apple caramels oh that sounds like a dream. Next one is Kiehl's. We have to find number one. This one's so vibrant and cute. Number one. Part of the fun is trying to find the number. Oh, I found it. So I got a Kiehl's lip balm. Apply liberally and allow excess balm to be absorbed. The next advent calendar to open is from Kiki K. Not nearly as hard to open. From Kiki K was this little set of washi tape, white with gold stars, and then this one that says, open me. That would be really cute to add tags onto gifts with or something. I love that. I do have this lush box in the corner. I'm not going to touch it yet because there's only 18 things in there and I will absolutely wait um, until we are 18 days out. In my office bathroom, I have my rituals. I did not put the whole tree up because it just takes up so much space, but there's like a whole tree piece that you can add. Um, this was my favorite advent calendar from last year. And number one is right here. Wash your worries away with this balancing fragrance of Indian rose. Like, look at the size of this sample. It is an Indian rose hand wash. And like, I mean, you just cannot beat the sample size. Like, this is bigger than travel. I'm so excited. I'm just going to leave this right by the sink so I can use it later. We opened Rituals, we opened Diptyque, we opened Sugarfina, we opened Kills, we opened The Winter Wonderland, Lush We're Saving. We have to go open David's Teas downstairs. We also have to light our Clinta candle, so I'm gonna take that with me. 
I also have to read the first chapter of the autobiography of Santa Claus. You're going to hear more about this in a future Vlogmas video, but there is one chapter written for every day of December, so I have to read chapter one. I'm going to light my candle and read chapter one. Let's go check out our David's Tea Advent Calendar. I will say David's Tea did a beautiful job with their Advent Calendar this year. Like, just look how beautiful it is. It also came with a teaspoon that's not part of the Advent Calendar, um, which is really nice. We need number one. Now, last year you put everything in backwards and created a scene. I don't think that's true for this year, but every box is like a little ornament. All right. Number one. Last year they came in tins. This year they're coming in the bags. This one is called Candy King Crush. I am not a fan of minty things, so Steven will absolutely love this one. Look, just look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I also, because you guys know I love Louise Pentlin, I ordered the White Company Winter Candle. It smells so, so good. I've burnt it a lot already. You can actually see how much I've already burnt it. It's a really nice candle for winter. It's like orange and cardamom and cinnamon. It's really, really nice. All right, we gotta check this little guy off and light him. That was a terrible X but I did my best. To say I'm obsessed with this pullover is an understatement. I'm like in love with it. All right, so this week the theme is plan. And the first planner I'm going to share with you for 2019 is the Onbound Planner. I am super excited about this planner. I'm really into the non-spiral bound book. Um, but this one was sent to me from Onbound and I'm gonna walk you through it. First of all, I'm digging this green color. As you know, I'm obsessed with green lately. So let me flip you. This planner is so beautiful. What I love is just truly the simplicity of it. So it is all done in black and white. You have a year calendar up until 2022. Then you have a self-reflection page. I really think this is just so well done. You can rate where your health is, finances, mental health, family, friends, all of that. Really thoughtful questions, things that you want to focus on for the year. A goal brainstorm, which I think you could use as a beautiful vision board. Then you go into your 2019 goal timeline, what is repeating monthly, weekly, and daily habits. And then a little tracker for your 2019 goals. Then you have future goals in a year at a glance. Then project planning pages. These are really well done. You get into your monthly calendar. So here's your calendar spread. The boxes are small, but totally doable. There's lines for the bottom. There's a monthly reflection. Then it is the month's goals and things to do, the month's focus, as well as gifts and occasions to remember in that month. Then you have another page, which is like the weekly overview. You have your week's priorities, your morning routine, things to do, um, bigger tasks, and then your weekly goals. Then there's a space for just breaking down the goals, projects, journaling, any additional reflections you want to make. There's a place you could put photos if you wanted to. And then this is your daily slash weekly setup. So you have your days across the top, you have your weekly reflection, your don't forget box a note section, and then you have a little top tier, like top three things to do, all your daily tasks, and then a little spot for gratitude. And it follows that format through the whole planner. Then one thing that I really do love when they include these is an end of year reflection. So these are the favorite moments from 2019. What were the achievements? Another opportunity to rate those categories we talked about and then just blank note pages and bullet journal type pages. This is a really, really stunning and well-made planner. I'm very excited about it. And since this week is plan, 
tonight I'm going to end up doing something that was unplanned. Danielle texted me earlier this morning, right after I got done with yoga, and was like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I said, I don't really have anything planned. Steven is still kind of under the weather, so we were just gonna lay low. But she was like, I wanna go Christmas shopping at the mall. So I'm going Christmas shopping with Danielle. So I am going to wrap up Vlogmas day one here so that I can get this uploaded before I head out. But make sure you're over on Instagram and I will make sure to Instagram story our adventures as we shop and maybe capture some footage for tomorrow's vlog. As far as how I'm going with my advent challenge today, so I hugged my yoga instructor at the end of class and complimented her because it was really great and I was nervous and a little scared. So I had that amazing opportunity and let me tell you, it was a, I was gonna say like the warmth of the hug, but we also had just stepped out of a 105 degree room, but she had, you could like feel her energy um, and it was just a really, really nice moment because I was nervous because it was something so different, um, but it was, it was really great. I was able to give a woman a compliment in at Target. I really, really loved her outfit. She actually had a hot pink sweater on and like a camel coat. Um, and I was like, I love that color combination. And she like lit up, um, but it's a really cool color combination. So I already got online and found a hot pink sweater on Zara and ordered it. And then you better believe that I'm going to give Danielle the biggest hug when I see her. You're the best husband on the planet. And I love you. So I just gave another compliment. He deserves it. You also did a really nice job hanging the wreath. Kit Life Planners uh, sent me this photo of her doing the advent calendar. So go ahead, send me your photos, send me your videos, and I will add you in as well. In the meantime, friends, Vlogmas Day 1 is a wrap, and I will end it like I end all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.